the AJGA was at a club where I did a lot of legal work for back in the 80s. And I got to play in a junior am and it kind of got me hooked. Um, when my son was seven or eight years old, um, we decided to volunteer because the club where we were members at Oyster Reef here in Hilton Head was kind of instrumental in doing all the volunteers. So we decided to volunteer together. My son was seven or eight at the time and he was the range attendant and we kind of got hooked. Next year will be my 30th year. Um, I am hoping that my son and daughter-in-law will take over the tournament chairmanship um, after next year. That's, that's the goal. They're hinting that they're willing to do it. I think they would like to do it. Having both been AJGA, not only player alumni, but um, em employee alumni also, I think that both of them would, I think they would cherish the new role. And I'm, I got my fingers crossed. I think some of my favorite memories were really a long time ago, volunteering with my son. Um, he was a range attendant. Um, he was, I don't know, eight or nine at the time, and Charles Howell was playing here, and he asked Mark to hit some balls with him. And that was a memory that, that remains even to today. Um, I've been fortunate enough to be on the Heritage Classic Foundation board here on Hilton Head for a long time. We're the general sponsor of the RBC Heritage, and I get to see um, men now who were boys here with the AJGA, like Kyle Stanley won here, Cheston Hadley won here. We've had a couple local winners. Um, last year, uh, Will Gordon came up to my son Mark, who's on the Pro-Am committee with me, and came right up to Mark, said, Mark, I haven't seen you since, um, since AJGA days. And, and how about your dad? He used to be involved in a tournament here. Is he here? And I was standing like 10 feet away. So little memories like that are, are something I really cherish. We have developed a, a wonderful relationship with Sea Pines Resort here with the AJGA. Uh, they host us one night a week. They host the kids for an alternate shot um, and a pizza party for the kids and their parents. Um, and so the relationship that John Farrell and the Sea Pines Resort have developed with the AJGA has also been important in making our event just a little different than, than others. So um, that's been uh, getting to getting involved with Sea Pines Resort and being on the AJGA team, for lack of a better word, um, actually probably was fundamental in getting me invited to join the RBC or our Heritage Classic Foundation board that runs the RBC Heritage. Um, so it's been it's been a it's been a wonderful run. I've I've enjoyed every minute of it. Oh, I love the AJGA, its mission statement, what it stands for, and what it does for junior golf. It's um, it is it's is by far uh, the best junior golf program in the world. Um, I get to meet new people every year. Um, we didn't have junior golf like this when I was young, um, and it provides so many incredible opportunities for kids to to compete throughout the country. Uh, and that's, that's, that's the reason why I've been so passionate about it. Every year I get to meet three to five kids and their parents that I stay in touch with for a number of years, which is really fun. And then every year I get to meet um, an intern team that um, I like to think that when they leave Hilton Head, they think this is a pretty cool place. And they treated us well here. And I've kept in touch with a lot of interns over the years also. So uh, to me, taking care of um, the players is something that the AJGA does automatically. But taking care of the AJGA is something I think that we should, we should try to do.